like Indianapolis, for example. And that's just going to be a whole bunch of neutrons. And that's going to keep the star from collapsing anymore. Now, this is very small. Now, I go to 25 masses of the sun or greater. Well, actually, it's up to the 100 masses of the sun. I'll Okay, now it's going to have all these steps are going to be the same. Every one of them. Except the neutron star parts. Instead of turning into neutron stars, these stars are big enough to start putting the neutrons in the same spot. This is going to form a singularity, which we call black hole. It's just a dot. And then it has an event horizon. It's going to have an event horizon. I think it's 10 miles out for of that thing. So it's going to be like, there's going to be the event horizon. And anything that gets to the event horizon will not escape because it goes faster than the speed of light. Now, one law of Einstein, gamma equals, um, what is it? Um, one over the square root of one minus V squared over c squared is going to get to serious effect. Inside that black hole, once you reach the event horizon, you're forced to move faster than the speed of light and hit the center, or go to the center. Now the thing is, with this gamma, your velocity squared is going to be the speed of light, which I symbolize as c. 1 minus 1 is 0. The square root of 0 is 0. 1 divided by 0 is infinity. So gamma is infinity. Thing with infinity is the time of the object depends on its velocity on its gamma. So T object is going to equal the time of the universe, which isn't moving that much, over gamma. The only way for um, T object to equal this, T object now must be infinity times the time of the universe. So, not only will this thing not escape because it can't go faster than the speed of light, but what's a second for them is more than infinite time for us. All right, now for the 100 mass of the sun, which I've to most likely told you already, they get to oxygen, so they get down to there, but like these stars, once they reach oxygen, they obliterate. And oxygen. And that is basically how the life of a star goes. Now the reason why this is interesting, this part tells us what, what the end of our lives is going to be like. This, one of the stars in the Alpha Centauri system will do this, I'm pretty sure. Sirius, which is a nearby star and it's really bright, will either turn into an eight to twenty will either turn into a neutron star or a black hole after supernova in. And when the and when that happens, things aren't gonna look good. And the poor Earth is going to die.